Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video presentation, I'm going to go over how to build a straddle within the tools. Now remember, Tom's Tools is not an actual brokerage site. You cannot place actual trades for stocks or options in here, but you can build trades under the pretext that they are paper trades or virtual trades. So let's show you how to get that done. Let's hover over Home and let's go ahead and click over Option Tools, or you can just go straight to the Options tab and then click on Option Chains. Let's do that instead. When you bring up the option chains, you'll see that it gives you the stock symbol and then the expiration months analyzed over here. You can click on any of these boxes that you like, but unless you want to do an option on the SPY specifically, you have to change the symbol that you want to do options analysis on first, click update, and then click the date or the expiration month you wish to analyze. Now we have the SPY up there that we like. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to click off the first month because I just want to focus on the July 20th or the third Friday of July's options expiration for SPY. Now, there's no reason for SPY other than I'm just using this as an example. We did no search. We did no technical analysis for the SPY. We're just simply using this for an example and for training as to how to build a straddle in the tools. Now, you want to first and foremost go into your websites go into your folders and then create folders and if you don't have a straddle folder already built go ahead and create a folder for straddles there is a video in the library already that shows you how to create folders watch that learn how to do that if you know how to do that already go create your straddles folder because now you can go back to the options chain on the spy or any other stock or etf and build a straddle trade that you like now this is just a pure basic way to get this done. There are more advanced ways, there are more advanced uh, straddle strategies that you can take on more advanced mastery level courses and such, but we're going to just keep this at the basic level right now. So I have the SPY up, I have the July 20th expiration selected, I'm then going to click update. When the page updates and refreshes, you'll be able to scroll down and get to the options data tables. Now you'll see that the calls are listed on the left, the puts are listed on the right. Right down the middle you have the gray column that's labeled strike, that's the strike price. And I like to scroll on down to find what the current stock price is per the tools. And then from here you pick the strike prices, the call and the put on a straddle, that's at the money. And the at the monies technically are the 270 halves, so you would then go over into the trade number column which means how many contracts or what's the number of contracts you want to buy or sell so let's scroll on back down let's go to the 270 halves and technically that's you know in the money on a call out of the money on a put or vice versa the thing is you want to find the strike that's closest to the current stock price so to do a straddle you're going to buy one call and you're going to buy one put now you click in to the num column and you type the number one or however many you like but for a straddle you're going to do the same number of calls and puts so let's go over to the put side the same strike same months expiration and do the same number of contracts so you type in one and you can left click on that box to solidify it there what we're looking at now is buying one of the 270 half calls and one of the 270 half puts for the July 20th expiration on SPY let's scroll on up and then left click on risk graph now the risk graph page will populate onto the screen and what you'll be looking at now is the current trade actions, the saved trade actions, and right in the middle the saved trades. It's here that you'll go ahead down to the folder line item, click on that drop down window, find your straddles folder, left click on that, and then click on the save button. And it will save this trade into that folder. It will refresh the risk graph screen but now it will be saved and it will bring you up a bunch of different options now that you can select for this particular trade position. This is not a real trade unless you place it in your actual brokerage, but it is a saved trade, a paper trade in the tools. And it shows you your entry debit of 740. That's assuming the mid price of each of these options. Here's your bot call, your bot put. Here's the risk graph for that. And as you can see, any move to the upside the straddle position gets profitable any move to the downside or a sufficient enough move up or down will get the trade profitable and then you just manage the trade from here if this becomes an actual real trade in your real brokerage account manage that first 
<laughs> that's where your real money is at manage that first and then you can always come back to the folder into the tools find this particular trade and enter in the closing positions based off your actual closing position from your real account so that's how to build a straddle and i will come to you in just a few minutes on how to build a spread <laughs>